Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Rossman, and today we are looking at Homelinks 3.1, Sharing Equally. Oh, it's always nice to share. Uh, take a look at problem number one. It says, use drawings to help you solve the problems. Solve each problem in more than one way and show your work. So let's take a look at that problem again, and we're going to use the filter of ruckus to help us uh, think about this problem. We're going to reread this problem. We're going to underline the question circle the important information, come up with an action plan, and then solve. And then it says, uh, solve the problem, solve each problem in more than one way. So we are going to do uh, the last two steps twice. Okay? So let's reread. It says, use drawings up, you solve the problem, solve each problem in more than one way, show your work. It says, four friends shared five pizzas equally. How much pizza did each friend get? Four friends shared five pizzas equally. How much pizza did each friend get? So now we have reread the question. Uh, we've underlined the question part of this story problem, and we've circled the important information. There are four friends, and there are five pizzas. So now we need to come up with an action plan. Okay, so one way we can do this is to draw a picture of five pizzas. So I'm going to create a picture. I'm going to start by just drawing some circles. Pizzas usually come in circle form. Okay, so I have five pizzas, and four friends want to divide each pizza equally, okay? So there's a couple ways we can approach this. One is that we can take each pizza and give it to one of the four friends and then split up the fifth pizza. It might be helpful if we uh, gave our four imaginary friends some names. So let's say we have Pedro, we have Pat, we have Peter, and then we have Paula, okay? Pedro, Pat, Peter, and Paula. Okay, so the first pizza we can just assign to Pedro, and then the second pizza we can assign to Pat, third pizza we assign to Peter, and the fourth pizza we assign to Paula. So everyone has one full pizza, but now we have one pizza left over. So if we're going to divide these pizzas equally, notice how I use the word divide. And what I want to do is I'm going to take that last pizza and split it. I'm going to split it into four parts because there's four friends. And now that I've split it into four parts, I can now give one-fourth of that pizza to Pedro, one to Pat, one to Peter, and one to Paula. So as I look at my pizzas, I can see that each person is going to get one whole pizza. But they are also going to get a fourth of that leftover fifth pizza. So my answer to this problem is one and one-fourth. Now there's another way that we can approach this problem dealing with fractions. So again, we start with the five pizzas. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and with my five pizzas, instead of leaving the first four pizzas whole, I take each of my pizzas and I divide it into four equal parts because each friend would get one-fourth of each pizza, okay? So, let's just take Pedro's perspective for a moment. If I were to get a slice of pizza from each of the five pizzas, one, two, three, four, five, Okay, Pedro is going to get five-fourths of a pizza. 
four-fourths, if added together, would be the equivalent of one whole. So if you take a look at this piece right here, one whole is the equivalent of four-fourths. Then we have the leftover fifth-fourth, okay, or the extra fourth of a pizza that uh, Pedro gets to have, okay? So another way of thinking about one and one-fourth is to consider it to be five-fourths. Now, why would I go about splitting pizzas in a different way? Well, in the first scenario, if all five of the pizzas were the same, let's say cheese and pepperoni, it wouldn't matter from which pizza slices came from, so everybody's going to get the same kind of pizza regardless of where uh, the slices come from. But let's say all the pizzas are different. Let's say the first pizza was just plain cheese, the second pizza was cheese and pepperoni, the third pizza was uh, barbecue chicken, and so forth. So if Pedro, Pat, Peter, and Paula wanted some of each kind of pizza, it would make more sense for them to take a slice or a portion from each of the five pizzas. So that way everyone gets the same pizza experience. So these two approaches, giving each person their own pizza, then splitting up the fifth pizza into fourths, or giving each person a fourth of each pizza, totaling five fourths, or one and one fourth, uh, those are two different ways you can approach this problem. Okay? All right, so try problem number two on your own, five kittens sharing six cups of milk equally. And then uh, take some time to uh, uh, review the concepts of multiples and factors. We just got done with our unit two test, which explored that concept thoroughly. It doesn't hurt for you to get in a little practice. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to your math teacher. Otherwise, we will talk again soon. Thanks, friends.